In this video, we will explore how SPDNA Core serves as a powerful web API framework by utilizing a middleware pipeline. So in the previous video, when we talk about what is a web API framework, I showed this diagram. And you can see that when an HTTP request comes in, it goes through several steps and then it came out as a response. And once the user, which is the application that calls the web API, requests for something else, another HTTP request is sent to the web API. And then it goes through the same process and then it comes out again as HTTP response. And this goes on and on. This reminds us of a assembly line. On a assembly line, we have different assemblers. Assembler one, assembler two, assembler three, and the last one. There's many in the middle. Each assembler is responsible for a particular job. And of course, each responsibility is also different. So when the particular product goes onto this assembly line, then it goes through the first one, goes through the second one, goes through the third one, finally reaches the last one, and then the product is produced. This is very, very similar to what we just saw here. This request is, you can consider it as some sort of message, right? And this message, similar to a product on a assembly line, goes through the first assembler, which is the process one, right? Process two, and process three, until it reaches the last one, then it came back. Microsoft came up with a similar terminology. Microsoft called this a middleware pipeline, and each assembler is called a middleware component, right? So we have the first component, second component, third component, many component in between. And of course, a message goes in and goes through these components and each component does its own job to the message until it reaches the last one. And then this message is returned back to the caller. So again, this assembly line now, in Microsoft terminology, we call this middleware pipeline. And each one of these component is called a middleware component or simply middleware. Right? And this corresponds to the assemblers. If we look at our code that we created previously for the Web API demo, you could see that there's this use uh, statement. right? And this one is just use HTTP redirection. and there's others like for example use routing use authentication use authorization all of these statements that start with use are for adding middleware components this one as the routing middleware component this one as the authentication middleware component this one as the authorization middleware component and so on and so forth Therefore, you can see that the architecture of ASP.NET Core is very simple. Uh, it's just a middleware pipeline and it process a HTTP request in the middleware pipeline and the request comes in, goes through each one of these middleware components and then finally reaches the endpoint and the endpoint process the request, returns the information as a HTTP response. So that's how ASP.NET Core serves as a Web API framework with a chain of middleware component. And this is very similar to the design pattern that is called the chain of responsibilities. That's what I want to cover in this video. I hope this helped you understand how simple and how powerful ASP.NET Core is as a Web API framework.